Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the channel, current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week worth mentioning to you guys to engage in a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. I'd encourage you guys to click on that watermark down there in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe so you guys can continue to get coverage not only from the Friday Vlogs, but activity that goes on here with the channel. Starting it off in gaming news, H1Z1 Battle Royale and Auto Royale was released this week on PlayStation 4 for all you console jockeys. And I've noticed that a lot of you guys have come by to watch some of the H1Z1 Just Survive videos that I have on my channel now. It's important to keep in mind here, because I get this question often from some of you guys that are coming here. I don't anticipate or would think that we're gonna see Just Survive MMO on the console, because in the past, um, Daybreak and or SOE has not released a lot of these games onto console. There was like an online adventures that was kind of, kind of like EQ back in the day, but it wasn't really like the original MMO PC game. So I don't anticipate seeing uh, the Just Survive version of it. As a matter of fact, we as PC gamers are wondering what's actually gonna happen to Just Survive just for us in the PC world. So as far as console is concerned, that's probably not gonna be something they're gonna be focusing too much on. Now they did mention that they may expand it into other consoles, so we'll just have to kind of wait and see if uh, they have any plans for Xbox. Also this week, we had the Battlefield 5 reveal, which was pretty exciting. Now, uh, the trailer was met with a little bit of um, uncertainty or a little bit of um, not so excited type of uh, coverage when you see some of the uh, big YouTubers that were covering the game. Now, not all of them had this particular opinion about the trailer, but they were very enthusiastic about what the game developers are introducing and what the team is gonna be bringing to this game. And I'm kinda happy that it's back or that it's a game that I'm gonna be probably covering for the channel because uh, I originally started the channel off with Battlefield 3 and was very impressed with the community and was very impressed with the growth of the channel. And um, so I'm very much looking forward to covering this game for you guys. Uh, if you wanna see that video, I'm gonna link it up here in the top right hand corner so you guys can check out the, the reveal coverage that I gave the other day. As far as the Friday Vlogs, as we mentioned last week, as far as what type of coverage and expectations you guys can be looking forward to with the Friday Vlogs, and I think it's gonna be kind of a more of a laid back, more generic type format because as of this year, YouTube is really cracking down on commentary or news channels or independent journalist channels. And I don't consider myself any of those. You know, I'm here to kind of just bring you guys information, throw out some opinion, throw out some dialogue, get your guys uh, thoughts and, and so forth on uh, particular topics. And what's happening is even some of the biggest YouTubers are being affected by this. And for example, my nootropics video that was like in the top three sometimes when people were looking up nootropics has uh, been flagged for quite some time. Now, not flagged to where it can't be seen or searched, but flagged so that it is not um, advertiser friendly. And that is because Pyracetam that I'm covering in the video is actually a drug. Now, I also heard based upon that statement there from some other uh, YouTubers that do the journalistic independent journalism type coverage that YouTube is cracking down on some of the channels that discuss recreational marijuana and uh, some of the legal aspects to it and the states that allow it and so forth but it is still a class one drug by the federal government so that might be another reason why YouTube is cracking down on those particular channels but some of those channels are pretty big some of those channels have us uh, um, several million subscribers so we're certainly seeing it now. As far as uh, the Friday vlogs where I've covered certain topics, there's been three of the videos out of the 11. This will probably be the 11th video I've made that have been flagged for not being advertiser friendly. So <clears throat> I don't like to tiptoe around topics or um, things that come up in the news, but apparently YouTube and or social media is really starting to crack down on um, what type of delivery services and what type of messages these independent journalists are giving. And YouTube is just trying to err on the side of caution. And so a lot of these people are getting flagged or their videos are getting shadow banned. Speaking of shadow banned, the Alex Jones channel, which is an independent kind of news station, you know, regardless of how you feel about Alex Jones, if you go to his channel and watch one or two of his videos a day, you'll never see him in recommended. You'll never see him in suggested. Now, you will see Owen Schroyer's uh, The War Room 
uh, appear on uh, suggested or recommended. And you'll also see David Knight, who is also part of InfoWars. You'll see his, um, his is called The Real News. Now you'll see those two, Owens and David's, in the suggestions or recommended, but you'll never see Alex Jones. You actually have to go in and manually type in Alex Jones, or you have to go to your subscription tab in your list to be able to see any of the content. Now, you know, he still gets millions and millions of views. So it's just that you have to go and fetch it yourself. And it's the same probably for my nootropics video or videos of mine that are, are in that uh, particular status. Mine, well, mine aren't shadow banned. Mine are just set to not advertiser friendly. But this is why I have to limit some of the topics that I cover here during the Friday vlogs. Speaking of pyracetam and or nootropics, I do have pyracetam right here. This is an awesome, amazing product if you're looking for focus, clarity, verbal acuity. I meant to take some of this before I did the Friday vlog because I can oftentimes use it. But I've gotten a little bit more adapted to uh, this particular format of presentation because normally I have notes and scripts and everything else that I can read from that, that make this a lot easier. As a matter of fact, these Friday vlogs would be snap, snap, snap one shot if I could uh, you know have like a teleprompter behind me or or notes but you guys could clearly see if I was reading notes behind it I do occasionally have notes up on the mirror I don't this week uh, but anyway so I take a paracetam with this choline bitartrate also because uh, if you take paracetam by itself it will affect uh, acetylcholine in your brain so you'll start to get like headaches after a couple of days if you don't chase it with uh, some choline bitartrate but yeah this video that I did on paracetam um, several years ago was like in the top three not this particular container but I'm finding it is very hard to get paracetam now because it, you know, the reason oh well I should explain why it's uh, been blocked it's because paracetam is a drug this in fact is a drug it is legal in the United States but Canada and the UK and Europe you must have a prescription which is kind of uh, well, I don't, I don't know if it's really weird because we've seen drugs that were uh, prescription only in the United States that then eventually became over the counter, probably because they dialed back some of the ingredients and things in it. But um, yeah, so in Europe and stuff, paracetam is illegal, or not illegal, but you can't obtain it. I know, I know the Canadians can order it from the United States, but it's very hard to find. I can't find it on any of the normal um, uh, websites that I used to order it from. I, I have found like one particular link. Uh, if you guys are interested in paracetam or nootropics, they were really big a few years back, you know, with students and, and people that were taking tests or people that are in sales or, or, or in positions uh, at work where they have to uh, engage with people or, or give presentations like what I'm doing here in this vlog or vlog. Uh, so th it's really great for that. I mean, if you're looking for that focus, that cognition, uh, that clarity of mind to kind of get rid of that mental fog and I'm not talking about like getting rid of it like coffee can give you that little spurt twitchy type of uh, clarity at first but then it eventually wears off if you take it with sugar too that will kind of cause you a little bit of a crash but uh, it's great stuff and I enjoyed covering it here on the channel I'm mentioning it now because I'm not going to put any of the context in the um, in the in the descriptions or published text or anything like that I'm just going to cover it here uh, just in the video to see if it picks up on the um, the dialogue or uh, the closed caption because uh, in the first few seconds of videos uh, YouTube does pick up on the closed caption so that's why you might see me introduce certain topics right at the beginning so that it picks up on those particular um, well, so it picks up on the closed caption the SEO all right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday Vlog. Thank you so much for participating here. Uh, the Friday Vlog is growing slowly. There's been a lot of changes to the format, to the channel. I realize this. It's just kind of almost out of necessity because there's so many things that are going on on YouTube. There's so many things that are going on on social media. As a matter of fact, I was kind of want wanting to cover uh, the latest information about Trump and his inability to block people on Twitter. He was actually directed by a judge that suggested that he could not legally or yeah he could not legally block people on Twitter which is ridiculous um, he's the president it doesn't matter if they give him a presidential account you know he can use the mechanics of blocking people his detractors and those that just junk up his uh, 
platform just like we do. I mean, we have the opportunity to block people if we don't want junk on our space, right? So anyway, I think it was more just to um, cater to the uh, non-internet friendly savvy, the non-social media savvy people as just kind of more of a dog and pony show than any substance. But um, those are just kind of the things that are going on on social media right now. There is, guys, listen to me carefully, there is actually a war going on on social media. There is a battle going on right now for hearts and minds. And there are groups of individuals out there right now that are incredibly unhappy with the way things are going, not only just in the United States, but because we have someone like Donald Trump as president. And these individuals are using social media as their means to actually bring down an acting president. And this is, and this, I can't say definitively that that is their direct goal, but when they're going after Trump every single day, it's because he goes unfiltered, right? He can go on Twitter, he can say the things that he wants to say directly, being unfiltered, and he can go on into the public stage by his platform as president of the United States, the most powerful position in the world. So he can go in front of the cameras and he irritates his detractors so badly that it is affecting the internet in whole. I mean, just the entire internet is being affected right now, especially the fake news this and the fake news that. It's getting so bad now that we're seeing a lot of different individuals trying to get people banned off channels, trying to get uh, accounts shut down. It's getting that bad. And, and the reason I'm mentioning it now is because it's been very, very in the news this week uh, across social media. So I know you guys may not be extraordinarily interested in what goes on in YouTube or what goes on in the background of what I do or what we do in social media, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's getting that bad. So with that actually being the wrap up, guys, if you haven't already, be sure you're subscribed to the channel because your support is definitely needed in this particular time as we struggle through the social media realm that's going on right now. So click on that watermark that was appearing or is still appearing on your screen and click on that bell if you want the actual notifications. That's another thing they've done. They made a change to the bell. It's like you subscribe, you should get the information. Now you gotta go to the bell and then you decide how often or how frequent you want to be able to receive information from a particular YouTuber. So guys, I will see you next Friday.